Alright, recently I got an interesting idea about emotional experiences and language process bonded to it. And let's get started and explore how the two are connected to each other. So the blue will be emotional experience and the orange will be language process. So at first we have two subjects and we will focus on this one. So here is a thinker, let's call it this way, because it's somebody who creates an idea and also some emotions bonded to it uh, and delivers it to the person. It might be conversation, it might be a book, it might be a movie, uh, anything else. The person receives it, perceives it, processes it uh, basing on own experience, uh, preferences, views, values and so on. Anyway, he has his own perception and it's uh, this idea uh, causes some reactions and counteractions in his head so the idea would be replicated inside his head but it won't be the same because the perception due to difference in the uh, values and life experiences are different but the idea will be imagined and replicated it will be just slightly perverted no person thinks the same way no person has the same perception and we have another situation when we have author now we focus on him it's a thinker, but there is nobody else, so he gets an idea, maybe even two, and they have different emotional backgrounds, and he might even combine them. So now let's explore the situation from the perspective of, of language. We have two subjects, and we have communication between them. Sure, it might be not mutual if it's movie or book because the receiver uh, doesn't respond back, but it might, might not be the case. Anyway, there is communication and it is a language process. Here we have two subjects, two and the idea transferring, but second subject equals to zero <laughs> so yet it is involving ideas ideas are created using some language which has some thinking structures and influences mind so it is a language process so here we consider uh, if the emotional experiences active or passive so the person created the idea the idea causes some reactions and contractions in mind of the person and it replicates the idea but it is not created by the subject it is created by somebody else and recreated replicated by the subject so it's passive emotional experience because the idea and body emotions are generated but not originated from the person he is not the source of it he's an instrument and here the person himself is making the ideas emotions and even you know combines them creating new combinations and there uh, he does it on his own. It's why it's active emotional experience. And now about language process. Here, even if it's not mutual, uh, yet it's there is a language process in here. Uh, because the two subjects communicate and that's why it's active uh, language process uh, because there's one person another 
they get the same idea, well, approximately the same, it can't be the same always. And there is a uh, tra communication, there is transferring. It just might be that it might be uh, throughout uh, verbal conversation on throughout uh, book or movie, some other tools, get languages involved and it's active language process because there is active communication. Here it is passive language process so active emotional experience because uh, there is no real communication and all the thinking process goes on inside the head of the uh, thinker yet it usually is uh, done in the language of uh, well the, uh, the language the subject prefers to use uh, and also with the emotions and ideas bonded to it so it's why it's passive language process i want you to notice that passive emotional experience is bonded to active language process and active emotional well for for the, the this situation it will be active emotional process but we focus on the on the subject so for him it's a passive emotional experience and active language process uh, for this guy it will be active language process but we focus on this one so here is active emotional experience but passive language process because there's no communication and the, the processes are inversely proportional that's interesting i think well thank you for your attention i hope it was somehow informative for you <laughs> not sure but thank you anyway bye